Welcome back to the ABC Networking YouTube channel. My name is Dobias Veninger and this time I have a really nice video about a new feature that has been released in the 1602 release of Aruba OS and it's called Tunnel Mode. And with this feature you can integrate your wired and wireless infrastructure even more to generate this mobile first infrastructure. So I created um, like a little diagram in order to explain what we're going to do here. Uh, so what we have in the middle is we have an Aruba OS 3810M switch and on port 9 we connected uh, uh, to port 0 of the Aruba 7005 controller so that's our mobility controller that's all done on uh, VLAN 1 and VLAN 1 we are using in this case for our management VLAN and on port 11 I connected it to a, a laptop and on that laptop that's my management laptop so that I can connect to the console, to SSH, to the GUI and then we also have a VLAN 10 and on port 17 is connected to VLAN 10 and port 3 of the 7005 controller and that is uh, um, that's the IP range of 10, 10, 10, 10 uh, for the switch 1 and for the controller 254 and that's the VLAN we are going to use for our tunnel termination so the VLAN that you want to tunnel, you cannot have an IP address on the switch. So that's an important note. So VLAN 10, we're going to use as a transport network to do end-to-end -to -end tunnel termination between the, the Aruba OS switch and the Aruba controller. And VLAN 20, that is here on port 19, and it's connected to our client laptop, that's the one, that's the VLAN that's being tunneled. So VLAN 10 is using as transport, VLAN 1 is a uh, being tunneled VLAN. And then we have a DHCP pool uh, for VLAN 20, that's the IP range 1010.20.50 up to 60, and that's based on the Aruba 7005 controller. Also what we did on the Aruba 7005 controller, but we are not going to show you that because otherwise the video will be too long, is we created a .1x profile and a captive uh, portal profile. So this way we can integrate, um, uh, we can use the controller with the same firewall functionality uh, and as an authentication device or you can integrate it with ClearPass, whatever you want to do. But you can use the same policies that you have on your wireless, for example, for public areas where you can then provide also wired connectivity for a guest and for employees. That's why we did the captive portal for WebAuth and we did the uh, .1x for uh, for let's say more uh, enterprise ready uh, authentication so this way you can really integrate your wireless and wireless solution and it's really neat so let's dive into the configuration so what we have here is uh, we have here we have our console port for the switch so let's have a quick look of the configuration uh, tunnel mode as you can see is disabled uh, we have a VLAN 1, that's our management uh, VLAN. We have VLAN 10, that's the, the two controller VLAN that's being used for uh, the transport networks of the tunnel. And also this will be the tunnel termination IP. And VLAN 20 on port 19 will be the uh, VLAN that's going to be tunneled. So in order to enable the tunnel, it's really easy, really nice, because I think these days networks really need to be simple and simplicity and very efficient so that's why we go into the configuration mode what we do is we enable first of all we enable the tunnel mode server and then we provide you can also provide a backup controller IP but in this case we only have one controller and our controller as we said we were using uh, we were using VLAN 10 so as you can see what we did is we enabled the tunnel mode server and we're using these uh, controller IP that's the mobility controller or our 705 controller in our example so if we go back to the drawing what we did is on the uh, on, we enabled on the Aruba OS we enabled the tunnel mode on the uh, Aruba 705 it's enabled by default we provided the IP address of VLAN 10 and that's what we did for now. In order to get this uh, working, we also need to uh, enable the tunnel on uh, port 19, as you can see here. 
but that's not what we did now right so let's log on here also in the controller on the console mode or on the uh, with an ssh session okay let me enable this because we can verify some things so let's see what we have here uh, you can do the state so there is no active tunnel you can see that there's a lane vault and a tunnel is that the same okay there is nothing yet in there and you can see also the configuration on here so tunnel node server as you can see by default is on okay so everything ready to go to our client and have a setup if you want to see how this is uh, in the in the GUI then you can go to the web GUI you go to monitoring then you can go to tunnel mode port and you can see there's nothing running in here so that's all uh, from the configuration perspective so our first thing we're going to do with the client is emulate that we are a guest so let me plug in the cable to make sure we have network connectivity uh, and we will emulate a guest uh, in order to make sure what the tunnel node is doing we're going to set up a ping so that you can see what is going on and we do that uh, into the to the IP address of the controller in VLAN 20 so let's have a look here as I said to you that we need to have also enable it on the port so if we go back into configuration mode we go back into interface 19 and we need to enable the tunnel mode server here so what you will see on the client is that after a couple of seconds uh, tunnel mode is enabled and you got a certain state and automatically I'm redirected to the logon so you can see here is that we now have a tunnel up and it's completed and we have it uh, running so is that the same on the as you can see we have a tunnel from port 19 this is the IP address we come from uh, the, this is the VLAN that is being tunneled this is the tunnel ID um, and if we go then to the GUI and we do a refresh now here you can see we have the same information so you can see we are automatically have a tunnel set up because there came traffic into port 19 because we were pinging and that's triggered the tunnel up so that's uh, on the way to set up the tunnel very easy so let me stop the ping on my client and as you can see I'm uh, I'm a guest here so I'm automatically redirected to my captive portal so if we have a look here you can see that I have a client uh, that is not authenticated yet let me see if I can make it a little bit bigger and run it again the command this is IP address and this is the profile we are using the other thing I can see is I can also show you the data path of the tunnel oh, and you can see that we have the tunnel ID tunnel source that's the IP address of the mobility controller the destination that's the Aruba OS 3810 switch port 47 is GRE and you can see that um, you have the P here for uh, uh, for the for the for the, the tunnel persistent is running on there so you can see that we have all the information here needed to figure out what is going on okay so now we know how we look let's go back to the user table uh, and let's go back to our client and let's try to log on because I have a user called Dobias and let's see if we now go to the user table you can see hey user Dobias is authenticated via web authentication um, the roaming is on wired so this way uh, if you want to verify that same information in the GUI you go to the clients here and you can see that it is uh, the same kind of information so this way we allow a guest on port 19 uh, doing captive portal using all the policies we have configured uh, that we also can have configured for the uh, wireless infrastructure we can reuse that for the wired infrastructure you can change and adjust that if you want to but let's say we also want to use that board for clients that are employees and that need to use 802.1x so what we're going to do now is I'm going back to the client and I'm going to first of all I'm going to unlock unplug my cable here then I'm going to change the setting because I'm going to set the authentication uh, enable on my NIC 
interface let me see if the user here is already gone otherwise you can uh, user delete all to make sure that we have an empty table for the demonstration it will work there is nothing wrong but it is, uh, gives a more clean view of what we are happening so now we changed the nick of the user to 802.1x we have uh, we still have the tunnel running as you can see here uh, but the port is down because we 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 plugged it up so if we plug the cable in we and then you will see that we have some uh, uh, some uh, some some tunnel mode on so let me see uh, what I do now is I'm going to enable uh, plug in the cable and I will immediately do you some show commands so that you can see that the tunnel is up again it goes really really fast on my client I need to log in for my 802.1x connection and what you can see here now as you can see I have a user authenticated with a .1x wire profile so via tunnel mode so if we can see that in the GUI again uh, I can go to the clients and you can see I have the wire profile here so this way we can deal with this infrastructure in a very easy way normally tunnels are always a pain there is only a couple of commands here to set up the tunnel uh, and to and to set it up and automatically when it sees traffic it will uh, will set up the tunnel to the Aruba uh, controller and I think it gives you a very handy way in, in where you have a mobile first infrastructure but you still you want to use some wired uh, wired connectivity for guests or for employees but but you don't want to change the whole policies how you're dealing with your infrastructure so thank you very much if you like this please um, like like the video provide some comments um, and if you have questions of course we are always uh, always more than happy to uh, to answer these questions thank you very much